Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Kite Army and welcome to Kite Army Labs. Today what I want to do is show you how to convert a stand-up paddleboard specific pump into a kite pump. You can see here I have a WMFG. This is my primary kite pump. The problem is when I travel and as a spare in the car, I really want something small and compact. So I'm going to walk you through that process today, show you all the steps, and by the end you'll probably have one built for yourselves. Let's get into the project. So before you begin this project, you have to pick a pump that really is suitable to the, the modifications you're going to make to it. This is a very simple SUP pump. You can get these online for about 15 bucks. You can see that it only inflates on the downstroke, which means the internals are a lot less complicated. It's also got thread on the handle, which will mean I can thread it off and make the adjustments and modifications up top very easy. But other than that, that's all you kind of need to get going with this project. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the screws here in the top of the barrel. You can see I've already done that, but once you remove screws from both sides, you should be able to lift the top off like that. So the next thing you need to do is decide how tall you want your barrel to be when it's completely done. I'm going to choose my kite pump to be about that tall when it's all done. Now to make my pump even more compact, I'm gonna take a little bit of this foot off. And saw all the way through. So I'm about two minutes into the project and you can see this is what I've accomplished so far. That's going to be the end size uh, of my pump when I'm done. You can see at this point, what I need to do is cut down these, this metal uh, pump handle. So that's the next step. Hopefully you're threaded on the handle up here. So sometimes it might take a little bit of force, unthread that handle. All right, now that I've got my handle out, I need to clean out my base. Just get rid of any debris in there so you don't gum up the pump mechanism. Put that all the way in, put it all the way at the bottom, put the cap on, and then with a Sharpie, Leave about another inch above, at least an inch, maybe two inches above the top so that you can seat this shaft into the handle. Now that I figured out my new handle length, let me cut it right where I marked it. So far you can see how easy this project's been. This is the most critical step in this whole project and that is making sure that the bit you have to drill out the handle matches the diameter of the shaft. Mine happens to be one inch. I think that's sort of an industry standard because you have to drill out the thread on the handle. There is one other thing you should do, and this will help you get the handle on, is right on the edge of the fill tube here, just use your file to put a little bit of a sharper edge on there. That'll help when you install it. Now with the rest of it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rough that up because this part you actually have to glue in. All right, if everything's gone so far, you're ready to attach the handle to the top. You put a bevel on the top and make sure you install the top of your pump. Mount it inside your pump near the top, if at all possible. And nice and tight because you're going to be hammering down. I mixed up some glue, some nice epoxy. Don't use some, uh, some glue that's not going to do the job like Elmer's. Get some really good two-part epoxy. Put it on the top here of the pump tube. A nice rubber, a rubber mount is the best way to install this. There you go. One of the last steps is to install the screw back into the cap on the... All right guys, so I finished off this project by adding a hose and of course the required decoration. I got this project done in about 20 minutes so I expect most people will be able to accomplish the whole project in that time frame. It was really simple, no surprises at all. If you follow my directions, I think you'll have a glitch-free project. That's it for now. My name's Andrew. I'm from Kite Army. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, make tons of comments, come back often, and I'll see you soon.